Yo, today I'll be showing you guys how to make wrinkle assets with AI. Now, the AI is not going to do the wrinkle asset completely for you and by itself. You're still going to have to lay it out on the template like normal. Now, I made my own AI software. Not like my own. It was like a free, but that's like way too much steps. And it's going to take like probably two hours to explain in a goddamn video to show you how to do that i mean myself it took me like a week to get that set up so i'm just going to be showing you guys the um, website and how to use that as well it, it basically gives the same things i found that it's honestly if not better than what i've been doing so yeah let me just show you guys so the application is going to be called leonardo ai so if you just type that in dot ai right up here just type it in it will bring you right here and it will tell you to create an account i already have an account so i'll be right back once i'm already in so once you're already in it should look something like this it will have a home page and then all the ai generated stuff now yes this ai application is also a point based one it's not entirely free but it is free because every day they will load in 150 points that you can use in the ai generator which is more than enough to create AI stuff. So yeah, let me show you guys how to start using it. So first you're gonna wanna go over to here to image generation. As you can see, I was already doing it. I had some mess ups and then some that were pretty good. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. This up here is a prompt. Uh, you don't have to worry about this right now. I will show you just real quick. All this stuff is to the side though. You're not going to want to select. You're just going to want your settings to be like this. Number of images, 8. Image dimension, 76, 768 times 768. Just like you see. And then once you're done with that, go to image guidance. Enable this, right? And this is what we're going to do. You're going to want an image. But for now, I'm going to just show you guys genes. So... You're going to want to go to this guy's um, Depop store in the description. This is not an ad. I do not know who this person is. He just has good pictures for what we're doing this. So you're just going to want to find a picture that you like. So I guess I'll just use this one. You can see they're wrinkly. So I'll copy this image. I'm going to open paint.net too. I'm going to create a new tab. I'm going to paste this in. I'm going to use my rectangle select. And I'm going to select like right here. And I'm going to copy that over open a new tab and i'll save this to my computer you can just save it anywhere and call it whatever you like i'll just call it wrinkle and then you can close out of paint.net you don't need that anymore as of right now and now what you're gonna want to do is come back to the ai click upload image input upload an image uh where's my picture right there so now I have it, keep the strength to where it's at. The preset, it should be 0.30. If not, set it to that now. Now go to generation history and type in a prompt. Uh, anything that's like, you can copy mine. I'll probably put it in the description. I'll just do, I don't know, baggy jeans uh, with wrinkles. I'll do comma, 4K, high resolution uh realistic um 1440p oh that's 12 1440p um I, I guess we'll just keep it like that now all you're gonna want to do after this is just press generate so as you can see sometimes the image guidance doesn't work fully and it just comes out goofy like this but you could still use these so i'm just gonna still use them sometimes they just look weird though so just be aware so reference pictures that i'll use uh, are pretty decent i'll use this one so open paint.net again use that um hmm. i'll use the back side of this one as well so i'll just copy that image as well put that in paint.net and i'll copy this one too the reason i feel like this ai is cooler and just better to use 
is because you can just get way more variance out of just one picture than just taking mad time to go and search for things that's just not necessary. But anyways, now all you're going to want to do is just make your asset like you normally do. If you don't know how to do that, uh, there's a video that will pop up in the top right right now. And it will it's a video on how to do assets. So something like this would just be good. So after you got like your thing finished, I heavily, and I mean this, heavily recommend you go to highlight slash shadows and up the clarity all the way to 100%. It just adds the green as you can see and the noise and it just purifies everything and it makes it look, look like the reference picture that you made this off of. It makes it look like it was actual real jeans, even though this is just mostly just AI mocking up an image from possibly real jeans from the image we used, but it just doesn't look too realistic of course and this can just make it look better so yeah i found that you can also do the same thing with a t-shirt too and you don't even need the image guidance for a t-shirt the jeans though are too specific that you're gonna want a F reference picture for it but this prompt you can just type in like i don't know like white t-shirt on white backdrop with wrinkles and then you can type those things again, 4K, realistic, high, re oh, high res, and you can try just click generate and it will probably generate something good. So let's see. So as you can see, also I did one mistake. I would not recommend doing a white t-shirt. I would do something like a red or blue because it just doesn't come out as good. But as you can see, I have this sheet shirt. I'll just use this. All right now I'll make a new template paste on that image i'll grab another one for variety so i don't know um maybe this one and i'll paste it down for variety too so i'll grab the front right here put it down grab the front and then again use your highlights and clarity put it all the way up and boom that's another asset done so yeah i hope you enjoyed that video that's how to make wrinkles with ai you know if someone was eventually gonna do it if it wasn't me so <laughs> might as well just start off so yeah i hope you enjoyed and peace out